Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Latvia vlogs. So if you haven't watched part one, I honestly would highly recommend because I feel like there's a lot of like jokes and references to things that we did the day before, which is part one. Part two of the Latvia vlog is basically day two and day three. It's such a beautiful city. There's actually quite a lot to do. It's all very, very walkable. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of culture. It's really, really beautiful. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. If you do enjoy this kind of content, please drop us a like, subscribe if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already and yeah i hope you enjoy let's get into it day two <laughs> day two though peeps let's go oh laura's asking something what's our jacket out of smile oh me and laura are feeling a bit delicate today it's quite oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god how did that happen oh. I thought I thought that was like a drain and it would have gone through. Oh god, I just nearly lost an earring. We're really feeling trusty. a bit delicate, folks, because the black bus arm is still in the system. Oh, no, was my veins. Shaking. Neither of us slept very well, and I'm just assuming it's the black bus arm because that shit's strong. Last night, last night, I remember being on that corner street and just laughing. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know what I was laughing at. But I was literally crying. You said something that probably was averagely funny. Yeah. But I thought it was the funniest thing on this earth. <laughs> I was just like, I have that effect this on is people. amazing. I went to the KGB house, which is also called the corner house. It's where the KGB would interrogate people and torture them physically and psychologically to get information out of them. Potentially also get confessions out of them that may or may not be true. The weather's looking Have a go. looking very very sunny. And very affordable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not liking the double denim with the red you know. I just saw myself in the room. It feels a bit much. When in Latvia. It was cat does. Wear double denim. There's yeah. the exact same shade. That oh famous, god, that's the problem I think. That, that famous god. scene. So yeah, we're gonna go and look at some historical torture stuff. It's actually really sad in the in the museum yesterday, but like it's made me more intrigued to go because like this corner house, the KGB place, was mentioned in this quite a lot. People during the occupation were taken, oh there's so many cute dogs guys. And after this we're gonna go to the ghetto, we think like the old ghetto where where the ghetto used to be i think we're gonna get a bus though so i'm not sure sure how we're gonna navigate that but i'm sure we'll be fine me and laura pro Probably travelers the same way that we navigate everything exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the the, tr the phrase is i think it's this way but i could be wrong <laughs> and it's just that the entire time basically let's get some latvian culture in england <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> thank you how this oh. Oh nice. nice! Oh my god, that's so cool. Uh, nice, very cool. Look at the weather. Twice a year they have sun. Laura and Cass, we've got like two minutes to be at at all. Is anybody surprised? No. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm hoping we make it because Europe's pretty chill in it. Just spotted a place called Caffeine, which I'm very excited to try because there's also crazy iced coffees with loads of different unusual flavours. It's like a branch here. This doesn't look like a KGB place, but this is it. <laughs> KGB ranking guard that uh, you could call only one line. Understand people who you would uh, sleep a day in different types of clothing. Do you have any kind of question? Final ball with bullet traces, <laughs> but uh, with no blood stains. The yellow ones are without blood stains. We just come out of the KGB museum and it was very sad, very harrowing, heart wrenching, really upsetting. Like throughout that tour, like a tear rolled down my eye. It was honestly really sad. Look, obviously the KGB are awful and everybody knows how horrific they are and the terrors they committed and all this stuff, but it was properly sad just like being in a place where like executions happened and people were killed. Like he said something of like 60,000 Latvians who were political prisoners have gone through this building and that's just people who are political prisoners so a lot of the times that can be people who genuinely just like read a book that was banned or like pro Latvia rather than pro Soviet Union like it was a lot of the time people not even committing actual crimes at all it was just genuinely people's rights and liberties being taken away from them and beaten out of them for simply having an opinion that they wanted independence for Latvia like it's honestly just disgusting. It was really, really sad. It was really sad. All the execution chambers, all where they stayed. It was just sad. Yeah. What, how did you feel, Laura? 
it was quite like heart wrenching, like how badly they were treated. That tour guide was really, really good. You know what I find so cute when someone their first language isn't yeah. English and like they'll kind of mess up words. So he would say like beatening rather than beating and like heatening rather than heating. And like I just found that really like, oh, that's so cute. I think it's it's remarkable. Like I think it must be hard yeah. doing something like that and. That's his job Doing though, it, like, yeah. And it, justice. It, yeah, I think that's quite impressive. But yeah, it was it was quite an informative tour. Would recommend. It was on like fifteen euros. Now we're gonna go to caffeine, which is in between mine and Laura's heads. Dear us back yeah. up. Look <laughs> interesting. They do. I ordered an ice latte with chocolate cookie sauce slash syrup. So I'm hoping this is very very nice. Vibes. All just mini influencers, really. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, 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 that's big. Love that. <laughs> oh, we just spent a bit of an hour in Cathy. Guys, it's actually cold. You get the sun, it's alright, but the wind, if it wasn't windy, it would be really nice. I don't know if other people are going to find this funny because we're saying a bunch of something we think is funny. Yeah. And other people are going to be like, I don't get it. These two are weird. I mean, they'd be correct. Maybe we don't get it. Get what? Exactly. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I feel like because we've both got quite bright hair, a lot of people I've noticed are just like looking at us a lot. Yeah. And I don't know if that's because we're loud and we're every five seconds we're like, <laughs> <laughs> or if it's oh, this is a nice building. Um, or if it's just because of weird, the bright hair. I don't know. These buildings are so nice. What is what is this? What is this? Church in Latvia. It's just so beautiful and it just looks so much more beautiful in the sun. The sun and the affordability. The <laughs> For God's sake. This is the Nativity Cathedral. I'm not actually sure what's going on here. It's a, it's a cathedral, obviously, but it's got like really nice gold and silver, potentially silver detailing. I think, see, I think that one's silver as well. So I'm guessing it is gold and silver. Um, but yeah, the gold on the top looks sick. I don't know if we're going to go in. I don't know if we're just going to admire it from the outside. I'm just enjoying being in the sun, to be honest. The footprint is directly straight ahead on the train. What's the footprint? Talk us through the, um, the history of it. It's a slab in the floor where there's like footprints um, like this. Yeah. Inserted. Yeah. Indented. Yeah. Pressed into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Rail-esque. That marks the longest human chain. Um, after the war, um, Lithuania, mm -hmm. Remember that. somewhere yeah, in there, yeah. um, Tallinn and Estonia, mm -hmm. and through Riga and Latvia. Mm -hmm. um, they all held hands, <laughs> jo joined hands in solidarity, and it's the longest human chain. That's so cute. And yeah, this footprint is for the Riga part of the chain. Educational. Get everything in these vlogs. <laughs> I think that's what it said in the textbooks word for words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it. There was someone going like this. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah, indent. Yeah. She's got a photographic memory as well, so it's yeah. definitely right. Yeah. Can you not tell? <laughs> Is that not obvious? Who is this? A famous poet? Yeah, one of Latvia's most famous poets. Okay, cool. We're in this park. Esplanade. <laughs> we're in this park and we've just realised over there there's like they're serving drinks, they're playing some stuff on the TV, they've got some music going. So I think because they've got like a little outdoor seating area, me and Laura are gonna stop and get a cheeky beverageini. I'm really hoping they're doing Aperol Spritz because whenever me and Laura are in Europe together, we always get Aperol Spritz. And so it's kind of like an affing. So I'm really I would like an Aperol Spritz. It's only half past twelve and at home it's half past ten, so it seems like the perfect time for a bevy. <laughs> we've come for a cheeky afterall and the hockey is on. I think yesterday something happened with the hockey. Like I think someone was made it 
going to like a league or something. I can't remember, but a bunch of people were going crazy about the hockey. Like there's like a real sense of community in that bit, which is really cute. Well, in Riga. Um, so yeah, just having a cheeky little Aperol. How cute. We're in the ghetto by the way guys we've come to a um a tour it's like an outdoor thing but also a bit of an indoor thing and also a self-guided thing and also a free thing <laughs> and also a sunny thing and also a sunny thing <laughs> they just ask for a donation at the end we're gonna learn about the uh how the holocaust impacted jewish people in Sweet latvia yeah hoping to learn lots because we know absolutely nothing We're currently still in the Jewish ghetto. We've genuinely been here for ages. We ended up just sitting down outside for like half an hour because our legs and our backs are just killing from all the walking. But there's so much detail and information here. You could genuinely spend an entire day doing it. So there's like an outside section and there's multiple inside sections too. It's really interesting though because it's talking lots about the Holocaust. The Jewish people were affected by the occupation and it's actually, it is genuinely really interesting. All of these plaques here like are just full of information or full of the name names of people who have died <laughs> really sad i think it's really important actually to like go and learn stuff like this because i feel like if you go to a place and you don't know the culture that well and you go to a new culture you should try about its history learn about its culture learn about its traditions like when people have been like serving us in shops and stuff we've been trying to say like the latvian words for like please thank you hello goodbye and all this stuff obviously sometimes you forget and sometimes you mess it up but like we said like thank you to one of the guys who works at this museum and he was like oh thank you for saying the latvian word for it thanks for learning latvian i thought that was really nice and i feel like you should just try to do that when you're abroad because you want to be respectful you want to show the people who live here that you're you know you're coming to learn about the culture and you're like interested in it and you're like not disrespectful to the culture or the country in any way i think after this we're either going to go check out the central market which is like a big big food hall um or if not i think we're going to do that tomorrow and um, we've actually done basically everything that we wanted to do whilst being here like we've actually smashed everything out it's all been located very very close and we've sort of stumbled across certain things and be like oh that's on the list like we'll do that um so it's actually gone really well in terms of like getting everything done weird that this museum is free though because there's so much information like you would think that you'd have to pay to see this <laughs> guys we haven't had to spend any money on water because <laughs> this gargoyle looking thing it's like a fish does he <laughs> well it would make sense because it's water but i don't know whatever this little guy is it's been providing us with water we just keep walking back here it's right next to the house of the blackheads so money saving tip and also generally better than buying plastic bottles all the time right people this is where we're going medieval themed restaurant scared oh it's got medieval -y vibes happening here too I've ordered a honey beer and Laura's ordered a Sauvignon Blanc, a classic Latvia specialty. <laughs> but look at the um, guys, where does where does it end? Where does it end? I think they've given Laura a pint of wine. This is like seven euros, so that's cheap for this vat of beer. Yeah, like a lot of wine. Yeah, that's deep as well. yeah. God, this place is so cool, honestly. 
look at the menu. Very old timey. Before we leave, I'm gonna try and do like a little bit of a walk around because it's massive. There's just like loads of tunnels. We're currently in the like little bar section where there's loads of like people dining in the other rooms. It has to be endless. There are literally loads. It's giving Game of Thrones, but like a more pleasant Game of Thrones. It's a bit dark though, so it's not the best for me. Honey beer is very nice. This is my first time trying honey beer. I would highly recommend it. Tears. It's a Latvia. No, you don't know what it is. Oh, it was something. It was something really short. Like a really short one. I know it was like Paldis, but not Paldis. Oh. Please. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Will you just move our nails? And I'll. I'll listen. Over I'll listen. Okay. 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 What are you got? <laughs> When you forget the word <laughs> for cheers in Latvian. Insert word here. Beep. To the honey beer and the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Is it Sauvignon Blanc or Sauvignon Blanc? New Zealand, I believe. Chef's kiss. New Zealand here in Latvia. <laughs> Travel all around the world. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. me. We've just been in here guys and it's 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 very cool. We saw this earlier. We thought we thought we'd try it. Something happening down there with the hockey. Something someone just won, I, I assume. Or scored. or scored or did or did something worthy of screaming. The best pizza in Riga, I bet it's not. We've got some more Aperol guys. To be fair though, the one earlier was six euros, this one's eight euros, so you pay for the glass. pushing the boat out. Yeah. yeah. And we only got one slice with this. Yeah. Slice Multiple. Lemon. Yeah. Lemon was it in Aperol. Makeshift. Yeah. <laughs> but we're also partially watching the hockey. <laughs> I found out that yesterday they won Poland by like in, in, in like extra time. I literally sent you a link to oh. the story. Yeah, I saw it come and through. That's and that's why like... they were buzzing yesterday. Now they're in like I think they're in the World Championship the Latvia hockey team. So and now they're playing France. So if they win this, I'm guessing everyone's gonna go crazy. Go crazy. Go Latvia. <laughs> I think I support Latvia ice hockey now. I think I'm a fan of Latvia. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, Latvia ice hockey and the Philadelphia Flyers. Long term fan. Yeah, <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, we've got a margarita, a ricotta, two aperols, and good vibes. Never have I ever dated a boy called Nick. It's me. Never have I ever been to a cathedral. Never. So many times. Not drink, drink for every time. Can we get three, four points of pickles, please? <laughs> yeah, can we? Each. <laughs> this is such a good apple. It was until I massacred my orange, and now every mouthful's got like bits. <laughs> I'm feeling like Black Bazaar might be on the cards. Just maybe one. Might just be. one. That's how yesterday we'll started. Get, yeah. We'll just get one. We'll get, like, we'll just get four. We'll get one and like a softer one cocktail. Of each. Bit. Yeah. One of each flavour of Bazaar. Is it, are we pronouncing it right? Is it Bazaar or is it like Black <coughs> Balsam? Balsam. Or Balsam. Yeah. Bal balsam. 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 Is it Black Balsam? Balsam. Balsam. <laughs> Song. I know it's not like an emotional song, but it makes me emotional because I remember listening to it loads in America with this frat party that was like frat party frat that I was like really good friends with, and they would always play it like on their porch when they were like drinking. And now it just reminds me of like being in America. It's so nice, but it's weird because it's not an emotional song. But when I hear it, I'm like, yeah. Same songs don't remind me of like certain flats that you yeah, have, like, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's so nice though, isn't it? Yeah. But it's also a weird feeling because you can't share it with anyone who hasn't doesn't also have the same association. Yeah. So although you understand it, you can't be like I feel the same way you feel. Which is kinda of sad, but also beautiful. It just doesn't show how everybody is their own person. We're all unique. Never have I ever been called Laura? Never have I ever had a middle name that starts with letter A. Never have I ever had a nose piercing. It's me trying to speed Laura up. 
Never have I ever sucked a straw. No, I don't believe in straws. Have I ever said 100, unironically? I was being ironic. No, you were. Never have I ever had black whistle. But what? Black Waffle. 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 We're heading to two two more beers, people, on a very, very small mark rule. I feel affected from one beer, one pizza, and one Aperol Spritz, personally. We had an Aperol Spritz this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's buildable. <laughs> it's buildable. We had it a bit, right. we had a bit nine hours ago. <laughs> I mean, I know excellent, but that's how biology works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I completely agree. So two more beers, and then also, like, that's the name of the how place, two more beers. So quickly, like, I know. I know, where have all the people gone? And also it's 9 p.m. Look how light it is. It literally looks like it's the middle of the day. <laughs> we also want to go to the cinema pub. Cinema bar, cinema pub, cinema, cinema bar. Cinema theatre. Cute these pink houses. So cute. Oh here for a drink. Oh. Why have we got cute little figurines? This is so I swear, have we seen this? I swear we haven't seen this. This is a new. In, this is a new place. Rieka, Rieka, Rieka. Sorry if that was offensive. Yeah. It tastes like the most standard beer I've ever had. Did you say it tastes regular? Two beers longer, so it's pretty. It's pretty standard. What did you have actually? Same gym. Can you tell? Uh, Brothers Wild mixed fruit. Is it good? It's really sweet, so Good. for me, yeah. Love that. For you. Love that. Yeah. This is what we want. <laughs> Never have I ever worn matching scrunchies. I mean, not in this moment, so take one off. So, that's me. I'm all alone. Or a singular scrunchie. Never have I ever wanted to marry Mozart. Never have I ever double denim with a red bodysuit <laughs> and a rainbow top <laughs> and a hoodie. Never have I ever worn five layers. In like 13 degrees. <laughs> Perfect sunshine. Yes. Name five things on the periodic element table, but the, not the beer one, the real one. Hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, neon, iron. Love that. Five points to Gryffindor. Woo! I'm not a red wine gal. Oh, I love it. I have a bottle of red in because I was like, one day I really fancied yeah. some and I was like, what is going on? Red with cheese. It's like, oh. Wine oh. with cheese. Oh. oh. Wine with alcohol with cheese. Wine with anything. Cheese with anything. Anything oh. with anything. It's this guy. Okay from London is the next one, not like some other European country. This is the cat house, guys. As you can probably tell, there is a cat on the top. Well, actually, you probably can't tell because it's really dark. There's a cat on top of this. Basically, many, many years ago, I think it was like some sort of guild. It was basically an honour to get accepted into this guild. There was a guy who didn't get accepted into this guild. As a bit of an FU to the guild, he basically created a building where there are like cats on top of it, and it's supposed to face the guild to be a bit like this and kind of mock them and i believe the build is this the guild then that you're standing on i'm not too sure but apparently that is where the idea came from dead cats are here and here is the guild it's me and laura have decided we're coming back to latvia or we're going to pisa because we've been to pisa before <laughs> where would you rather go back here or pisa I feel like you're gonna say back here. Recency bias. Yeah. <laughs> There's more, isn't that? Pizza's pizza. I feel like we can also do things, anything that like. Oh my god, Laura. <laughs> Laura. Hello, I feel very safe here. I was a bit worried about that, like just being two gals. Country that I don't know anything about, I'm always a bit like. Yeah. It's gonna be alright walking the streets at like, it's actually been alright. No, it might be different like out of the city centre. Yeah, the, we, we have just stayed to the main. The, even the ghetto was kind of in the s central. Yeah. If we can get it sub 100 though. Sub 100. Sub 100. Sub 100. People always think that 100 is the best they can get. I no, know. no, no. Sub. Sub 100 sub is the best you can get. 100. 100. 100. Sub 100. Sub 100. Sub 100. For context, by the way, in this vlog, the other night when we were steaming from Black Basam, I said something and Laura agreed. She was like, yeah, 100. And she'd never said that before in her life. And I was patiently waiting for the percent to follow 100, but it never came. 
And it was just the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> do black balsam, kids. Don't do it's black balsam. And if you do, just hold on to some grass. It's gonna be it's gonna be an important life lesson. <laughs> and always end your sentences with percent. Yeah. Or or don't. Because it'll be really funny. <laughs> in case unclear, me and Laura are coming back to Latvia. Yeah. Next week. Literally weekend. next weekend. And we know that there's gonna be flights for thirty pounds or less from Birmingham. And Not Birmingham, but yeah, from Birmingham. Hotel accommodation, twenty pounds each per night, maximum. And we're gonna book it like in the airport tomorrow, and it, I think it'll take no longer than twenty minutes, personally. Trains from ours to Birmingham. And yeah. It costs like about like 15, 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max, we're actually thinking about living in Latvia as well, um, because again, as discussed, I think I think we worked it. It's gonna take three days to uproot our lives and move to Latvia. Just get a new job, get get new accommodation, get visas, and then pack. Yeah, I think maximum three days. Maximum. I think I think that might be generous actually. I reckon a day and a half. And also in the airport tomorrow we are gonna be drinking Black Basalm again. And we're thinking as well, like we both have work well actually, I have work the next day. But the plan is So our flight lands at half four, right? So we wanna get back to Houston from Gatwick at four thirty one. And then Houston back to Birmingham, four thirty two, and then we're gonna have spoons just to line our stomach. Like, let's not be silly here. Um, we're not. We're not stupid. We're not. We're not stupid. We're not stupid. And then by about five o'clock, we'll have had the weather spoons, and so five o'clock we'll be ready to drink again. So night out again, five pm. Um, and then yeah, we can drink for like seven hours. Go to bed at like midnight, and then no problems whatsoever. Just straight up night out, back to work the next day. Laura goes back to Stoke, boom, no problems. This is a complete joke, by the way. We're literally being mental. All night, we've literally been like trying to work out where we can go because we want to have a little bar crawl, just the two of us. But we need to do it in a place where we don't want to explore because this is the problem. We wanted a full on bar crawl last night when we were in the vibes. Tonight, we're exhausted. And again, we've got to be up early again. So it's like. So we're gonna book a trip somewhere where we can just solely focus on having a night out and not have to worry about doing touristy stuff because we've done it before. So we're thinking Pisa because we've been and we've done it all. Or we're thinking Riga Latvia because again, we've seen everything we wanna see. Cheaper the better, but it's happening folks. It is happening. So it's like 11 o'clock. We're gonna have our showers. We're gonna pack up and hopefully get some sleep because I don't know if I've mentioned in this video but we've we've genuinely just not slept at all I don't know why I actually don't know why I've got like quite a bit of euros left actually so I bought 200 euros and I've got 60 euros left so that is not bad and honestly all of this has been spent on alcohol like I've genuinely barely spent any money on food it's all been so cheap three oh it's stopped that was short. Oh. Three, last day. Always start your day with a dance. Yes. In a lift if preferable. Even if you're not going anywhere, you're just gonna <laughs> get in a lift and start it off. 100. 100. <laughs> yeah. I'll just say though, this trip has already produced some of my favorite in jokes. <laughs> we're gonna be so annoying to everyone else. Bet. Oh, sunny and affordable. Which way are we going? For our last day, we're hitting up Central Market, which will be very nice, hopefully. It, look, it looks massive. There's like four different buildings, so I assume it spans quite a, a vast, a vast array of... A vast array, I love a vast a, array. A vast array of food and knickknacks and souvenirs. Souvenirs. I need a keyring and some chocolate for my nan. Laura needs a magnet. And a pen for mum. And a pen, and there's something else. If you're watching this mum, it's not for you, it's for my other mum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so funny. Sense. You're so funny. You're so, so funny. funny. We're so obnoxious, honestly. I just know people in Riga have just been like, these two bitches. Britain. Honestly, no, me and Laura have been so obnoxious this entire trip. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it's because we're so loud and we're just being absolute Us. dickheads. Oh, wow. loud. <laughs> Shocking. Um, or the fact that Laura's got purple hair and I've got red hair and we're both quite tall women. We just sort of stand out. Yeah, yeah, honestly, we're just, we're, one might say outstanding. <laughs> I would say, I would say. I would say, say that. Like, this is the kind of thing I mean though, we're this just full of shit. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, well, this is where we went yesterday, so. Yeah. It's probably wrong. We'll own it. It's probably wrong, let's be real. It's probably wrong, but we'll go this uh, Yeah, way. I mean, I know it's a 14 minute walk and I'm pretty sure this will be a longer version. 
we not went down this road? Oh, today. <laughs> today. Tried to go into the central market, but it was closed for cleaning. Just ended up going in some little supermarkety shops in that area, which may have been part of the market. We have just come to some souvenir shops to pick up keyrings, magnets, pens, chocolates. Now we're going to go back to the hotel, pick up our stuff. We have to head home, which is really hashtag depressing. But it's fine because we're coming back next weekend. Yeah, and we're also moving here, so it's not a problem. Oh. We're going to go to caffeine, get a coffee for the bus journey back to the airport because it's like half an hour figure out how to get the bus yeah, and where from yeah, yeah, yeah that is that is essential one side back to no bet yeah no hundreds no hundreds no oh. sunny and affordable oh we'll, we'll just message each other these things <laughs> we'll have to have a video chat once a day to just be like a hundred bet a hundred <laughs> sunny and affordable we are basically latvians now we've learned so many things prieka paldis sveike sveike or tutsa is the station here yep yeah Iela is street or road yeah love that euros that's the currency here <laughs> amazing i know nay is no yas is yes <laughs> nah nay is no exactly 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 wc toilet i know i'm annoying i'm sorry <laughs> that's what we need to know so all the chocolates we got we had to google to make sure they're actually milk chocolate why why is there a pillow on the window but also why not you know also that's like cats get ready nook yeah just got to the airport, guys, and we're trying to figure out which black arm to get. Maybe these. Genuinely, I've just had one of the nicest burgers I've ever had in my entire life. It's so good. However, the burger itself was 22 euros, so I think our flight's in like an hour or so. She really sad to be going home. Like, we've just been both so sad today. Flying back to Gatwick, and then we've got to get a train wow, back to Houston, and then Houston back to Birmingham New Street for me, Stoke for Laura, and home from there. So it's going to be a late night. Look at the person sat next to me, guys. Oh my god. They're invisible. Oh, I just felt, I just felt, I just felt That's weird. Yeah. Why did you leave him alone? I don't know. I, don't I just, just think well, it's it's And then look at this so other girl sat next to him. 100. Bet. Bet. <laughs> well, it's very empty. That wraps up the Latvia vlogs. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching these vlogs. We honestly enjoyed Riga so much. We thought it was so beautiful. We thought there was so much to do and it was all very walkable. Like it's so easy to get around. I really, really enjoyed the KGB house. I thought that was like so interesting and fascinating. I loved walking around the old town. I really enjoyed just um, going to the top of St. Peter's Church and seeing like the stunning views of Riga. It's such a pretty city. I really like seeing the house of the Blackheads. Such a beautiful like bit of architecture, such a beautiful building. Walking along the Dorgava River like I loved just like honestly everything was just like so much fun and so beautiful the perfect mix of doing like fun cultural historical educational stuff like going to museums seeing cathedrals seeing like what the city is like as a tourist but also just having such a good time with my friend Laura and like just having banter just having like silly little conversations it was just such a good mix of like fun and also like making sure that we got everything done people were so friendly like I can't explain to you how friendly everybody was like me and Laura would be talking like just to each other and, like we would say something like oh I wonder what the Latvian word for this is like we're talking to each other in English and then somebody nearby who speaks Latvian would join in with our conversation and be like this is the word for it in Latvia and then we'd start up a conversation with them and it's like it's so refreshing because like in the UK we're like very very reserved we keep to ourselves we had such a positive time I honestly truly hand on heart do not have a bad thing to say about Riga I'd highly 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 recommend to anyone watching this video to like go and visit Riga it's really interesting as well because like there's such a Russian influence in Riga I hope nobody's offended by me saying this but I'm pretty sure like Latvian cuisine doesn't really exist like Latvian cuisine in itself because it's essentially just a mesh of Polish cuisine and Russian cuisine sort of combined into one so it's not actually Latvian cuisine it's like influence from two other countries and I just like it's just so interesting like there's so much to like learn about this country I hope you did enjoy this video if you did please hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop me a comment down below do all that fun good jazz and yeah I'll see you in the next video guys bye <laughs>